good, everybody? EC Man Anonymous Bleach, bringing you another episode on the road to the 100 bomb, I guess so. I don't know why not. I mean, it's a nuclear, so I might as well upload it, right, boys and girls? Lego. And truthfully, this is probably going to be an episode where I don't have much to talk about, which is very fucking surprising. I've been really trying to get good, solid, live commentary gameplays just to knock these off so I don't have to randomly talk about certain shit like this post-commentary or whatever the fuck people call them nowadays. Let's get real. 95% of my fucking videos like this turn into fucking rants. With in the middle of me thinking about what to talk about in this episode, I finally figure out what I should bitch about. And if you think long and hard about what just happened last weekend and what Treyarch or whoever the fuck comes out with the good ideas to try and grub your money, you'll know exactly where I'm going with this one. He is going to talk about that crypto gay, not crypto gays, because that's what you get for actually playing the game. We're going to talk about those COD point bullshit package, whatever, the instant weapon bullshit giveaway. And, you know, I have two things to actually talk about when we're thinking about this. First one is, have you ever noticed all these, like, the COD Champs thing or Worlds or whatever the fuck comes out the last month right before COD Champs or whatever hits? It's like $3 for a stupid-ass camo that you ain't never gonna fucking use. I just wanna know how many people actually do buy that stupid shit because guess what? You do know that a percent of whatever you just wasted your money on right there goes to pay the pros for whatever they win in their $2 million thing or whatever the places are that they win money for you're basically giving them your money for no fucking reason so you can have digital software or whatever the fuck you want to call it that you're never even going to use so don't be fucking stupid wasting your money just giving it to the fucking pros i, I mean yeah they got to get paid but at the same point don't they put up their own stakes to play in tournaments you know what i'm saying like they pay 40 or 50 thousand dollars for their team to play and then whoever wins it all gets the pot I know there's other marketing ploys in there that make it bigger and whatnot, but seriously, man, those are such a fucking gimmick and waste of money. The only thing I bought up, take that back, I did buy one thing of crypto, or not crypto keys, but a supply drop because I was a fucking stupid ass, but hey, I'm sure everybody's done it. I learned my lesson. It's totally fucking not worth it. I never bought one in Advanced Warfare, and I'm holding strong to that one. That game was fucking awful. And besides the supply drop, the only other thing I bought was the extra slots, which is, which is in my opinion, totally fucking worth it. Okay, but real talk right now. So I'll sit back and really think about that supply drop bundle, or whatever the fuck you want to call it, that they had recently. Okay, let's think here. It costs 2,500 COD points to get the weapon bribe, your melee bribe, that you're guaranteed two weapons that you already don't have, no matter what, 100%, yeah, 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 plus 10 rare supply drops where you could get extra bullshit between there, right? So, 2,500 COD points will get you that. Does anybody else, well, sidetrack, does anybody else still have COD points from the first 300 that they randomly give you for fucking no reason? I don't know. I used all mine for something stupid, probably when I bought that supply drop and I just wasted it all so I could get an even number of them. But let's look over and see exactly how much it fucking costs to actually buy sets of COD points. So you have like, what, the $5 bundle for however many. There's a 10, there's a, I don't even think there's actually a 5. I know there's a 10, a 20, a, like 40, 50, and 100, or something fucking stupid, right? They have all those, and the $20 one, surprisingly, is only 2,400 COD points. Anybody else catch what I'm saying here? If you don't have that extra 300 points or whatever, you got to buy another fucking either $5 or $10 bullshit bundle so you can get a fucking supply drop weapon when the game's almost fucking over. Now, I'll give it to them. Genius ploy on their point, because guess what? That means someone's going to have to spend an extra 5 or 10 bucks just to get all that bullshit. Fucking assholes. But, I mean, seriously, I was like, what a bunch of fucking... Oh, I should I should just beep that out right there, just so no, everybody's got to wonder what the hell I said. But, seriously, man, that is just some of the most crock bullshit I've ever seen in my entire life. But, you boy, Bleach went ahead and bought three of them. Giggity. Just kidding. Absolutely fucking no, I would not waste my money on that. Unless there was a, some kind of bundle where they guaranteed you, like, a sniper rifle, the peacekeeper, and a blowjob on the side. Maybe I would buy it, but... I highly doubt that's going to happen. Then watch Bondahar shows up at my house with mouth wide open with his eyes says, Give me that dick, boy. God, extremely homoerotic there for a second, but it's all good. Because look, we already passed halftime and your boy's still on a steady streak right now. I can't even tell you honestly what number I'm on. And to be honest, when I finally did get around to the nuclear, uh, I was actually trying to just get my purifier kills, and right when I saw the nuclear pop up on the screen, I was like, fuck it, dude, I'm going ballsy trying to just get these purifier kills, and I'd rather have more nuclears than actually have more unstoppable metals. 
Yeah, I mean, they're technically both the same fucking thing, so it doesn't really matter. But honestly, the smarter thing probably would have been is to just continue my streak and see how far I could have got. But, you know, in the heat of the moment, you just don't give a fuck. You go in ham. Well, your boy dropped a nuke around probably, like, it's right around the eight-minute mark, so if anybody wants to fast-forward like a dickhead, go for it and check forward to that if you want to see it, or otherwise stay here and listen to your boy talk. And as always in my videos, I always say exactly what specialists and whatnot I'm using. So for this one, as you can see here, your boy rocking fire breaks, pure fire, just tearing up the spawn. I think I'm going to try and, I'm either going to stream tonight, maybe, or I'm going to get it on my Livecom, the 200 kill special underworld gay camo that I'll probably never use. But we'll have it here. I'll post that on the next video coming out. Uh, but for the class setup in this, it is your boy's what is it? What did I call this stupid fucking class? It's the Razorback. I call it my uh, kill chain fucking setup. Whatever you. It's one. It's a class that I've gotten my most kill chains with. Sorry, I'm losing the track of words right now. But I use the Razorback. All you gotta have on that bad boy is the extended mag. The extended mag kind of random. You could probably do quake draw if you'd rather have that. But I prefer extended mag fast mags because the pull up rate on the Razorback's really nice. And it seems like whenever I play with it, it already has a stock built in. Which I fucking love because I can go around corners a lot better than with most SMGs or assault rifles. The other reason why I use the Razorback is because, in my opinion, it is a fucking assault rifle. But it fires a little, it's a little slower than an SMG. But I mean, it's just, it's so fucking good. And then I rock the ELO sight on it, as you can see. The boy also uses a concussion for my tactical. I don't use a secondary or lethal. So you can see that your boy got scavenger on that hard class too. Who the fuck these guys were looking for me? They had no clue what your boy was, and now we got a hater in the air. They are fuck, boy. Okay, so first class, your boy got ghost on, cause we trying to be stealthy. We trying to stay alive. We trying to get them fucking long scope streaks. Cause like I said, then your boy rocking scavenger. Just, you don't want to run out of fucking ammo. You want to stay alive and keep donkey dicking these little bitches right in the face. Uh, third classes, uh, we got. Dead Silence Amplified, or it might be Dead Silence and Tack Mask on this class setup. I can't really remember. I'll always link it down below, but you know what it is. And then what else did I say? Oh, score streaks, you boy got the Hater, Wraith, Raps combo. Now, see, a lot of people, whenever they're going for nuclears, and I wasn't trying to go for a nuclear here, I was just trying to get as many kills as I could. And then when I noticed, like, towards this point right here, I was like, I haven't died in a hot fucking minute. I gots to be close to a fucking nuclear. So I started playing a little little sporadic here. You'll see here in about 10 seconds when I go. See, look, I, I thought there was someone around this corner right here, so I was like, fuck this dude, this guy can cap it. But watch when I come back here, this guy almost mercs me, and I just slither right past this fucking bitch ass. Yeah, we go. To be truthfully honest, I should have died right there, too. That guy's reaction time was just on point for me to fucking screw his shit up. But we about to drop that nuclear real quick, right about now. Check it out. And here, I'm, I feel like every time I get close to nuclears, I almost die. Like this one, that guy should have fucking murdered me right there, too. Praise God he wasn't paying attention right here. I try backing off and da 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 boom baby! Oh, the nuclear up in this bitch! And like I said, at the end of this right here, I'm like, all right, screw it, let's call these in. I need to get these purifier kills, so I just whipped this bitch out and I should have died right here too. So now we got a couple unstoppables. And this is where I really should have just held back and not pushed the spawn so much. Because he just laid me down. He was camping over in their corner doing something. Who knows? But y'all, as always, that's the video for today. Thank you for sitting around watching your boy talk about some dumb shit. I'm going to have some more videos out real soon. Hit your boy up down in the comments below if you want to watch me stream. I'm trying to get that shit going. I don't have a streaming PC, though, so it might be real shitty. So someone might have to give me some pointers. I'm going to be a real fucking virgin when it comes to this shit. But like I said, boys and girls, thank you all so much for sitting around listening to me bitch and moan. I got to go mow the grass and then hopefully get some games in before my wife come home and yell at me. That's another thing I always fucking rant about. I never have time to fucking play at all because I always got stupid shit to fucking do. Alright y'all, but as always, like, comment, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed this stupid motherfucker, and I will catch you in the next video. Bleach your out.